Ibarra, the CEO of General Motors? Yes, I am. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Sure. Maybe a couple questions. Okay. Chevy or Buick? Oh, both. Ford or Tesla? General Motors. Are you going to miss driving when self-driving cars take over? You know, I think I'll always drive because I love to drive. I'll, I'll use, uh, you know, self-driving vehicles, but you know there's going to be time I want to get behind that wheel. You've said that GM needs to hire a more diverse group of engineers. What are you doing to make that happen? Well, we're doing a number of things. I think first is creating an environment where everybody can flourish, uh, and it goes all the way to then working with young girls in middle school to make sure that they're studying math, science, you know, the whole STEM curriculum, so they can be a successful engineer. President Trump is negotiating changes to NAFTA. How do you think those changes will impact GM? Well, I think it's important that we communicate with the administration so they know the impact. Clearly, we want to create jobs, not decrease the number of jobs. So we're providing that input, and we think you know there's room to modernize NAFTA, but we want to make sure uh, it's done in a way that people understand the impact. Forbes recently named you the fifth most powerful woman. Who's more powerful, you or Khaleesi from Game of Thrones? Khaleesi, she has dragons. There's a lot of attention on sexual harassment right now in the workplace. What is one thing that can be done to encourage people to come forward with their stories and to do more about the problem? I think one of the most important things is to create a culture of inclusion where everybody's valued, everybody knows their voice matters because it's just something that's not tolerable in the workplace. GM jetpacks, where are they? I can't discuss future product programs. This is my floor, nice to see you. Nice to see you too.